much love and peace to go around. So much love for the whole world on a beautiful day. You're watching Hello Nigeria. You are watching Hello Nigeria. Don't touch the dial. Hello Nigeria. Sit back and relax. Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We're going to be looking at buildings, affordable housing, and all things architectural. Focusing particularly on the architects for um, 2019 coming up shortly. Now, joining us to have this conversation is architect Fitz Fitzgerald Umar. He's the chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Architects, and he's no stranger to our sets. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And joining us for the very first time on Hello Nigeria is the director and the lead architect of Studio Elemental in Lagos and in several other countries. We have architect Garrett Bakas, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, awesome. Okay, so I'm, I'm really interested in the fact that we're having this conversation. When people hear architecture, they think, you know, you know, it's that boring thing where you're just, for non-professionals, we're thinking, oh, they're the ones that just help us to draw the plan and that's it. But how important is architecture to the everyday, ordinary, average Nigerian man? I think that boring thing that people think about, about architects is actually the problem. When you look at the scape of every country, every city, you see buildings, you see look at the scape, you see green areas. That's the work of the architects. No environment, no building starts without an architect. Even before the structural engineer begins to talk, architects are the ones that have that creative mindset to design that thought process, that concept, that beautiful thing you look at that is called structure. Architects are the ones that do. They are called the physical scientists. Like medical, uh, medical doctors say, oh, we don't know how people think about it. Just know that we kill, we, know we treat people. But architects, you can actually point to their buildings and say, oh, he designed that building. So that makes everybody feel cool. So architects is actually at the point, it's the beginning of every work. They are the, they are those, they are the brain behind most of the beautiful buildings. Now, speaking about architects being the brain behind a lot of our buildings, we know that Nigeria is no stranger to several incidences of building collapse, the most recent, most publicized recent one being the Itafaji case. But that wasn't even the most recent. After that, we've had several others. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what would you say would be the reason why we're experiencing a lot of this building collapsing in Nigeria? So I believe the process of building is something that... Um, doesn't follow too many rules yet. Um, everybody feels that they can maybe take a few bricks and start building their home. But to, to ensure that we have good quality buildings and buildings that cannot collapse, you need a lot of professionals that are involved in the process, such as architects, structural engineers, and so on. And yeah, I think it's very important that everybody knows how this process can be so that we can produce or shape a city that is safer for everybody. All right. Now, from your experience as well, you're the chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Architects. How well do Nigerians consult architects or how often do they before they start out building projects? Well, I think um, that's actually the beginning of the problem. Not everybody knows that if you want to um, build, you need to consult an architect. Some clients will even tell you that they have their contractors already, their bricklayer, and all before they even talk to you. That is actually the problem. I, 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 was, I worked in the committee that investigated the uh, Itafaji building, and we, we, we saw a lot. When the report comes, to, uh, comes out in the public, you really, really see that we have a problem. And the major thing is that the governments of the state need to start implementing all the laws. We have everything to actually stop building collapse. We have documents, we have policies, but it's just that these things are not being um, uh, put, I mean, they are not enforced. You, they, we don't even have, the, uh, some, of, some of them don't even have the legal um, backing. So 
the government must have the willpower to begin to implement all those laws. If they begin to implement all those laws, I tell you, if you talk about building, you must talk to the professionals. And these things, the, the, the consequence of not talking to professionals is a lot. Imagine that building where we lost 20 children. I mean, it's, it's, it's very painful and it's avoidable. How can we have um, buildings that will come up that are distressed without us not knowing or even knowing and not doing anything about it? And I tell you again is that when you look at these buildings that are collapsing, it's actually at a particular level. We have the um, telecom building, we have nets, we have the Western House, we have this building about 15 to 20 story building. Nothing happens to them, which means that the process of constructing these buildings were properly procured, meaning that architects, structural engineers were involved. But when you look about the first story, one story building, two story building, three story building, this is actually where the class of people that don't really talk to architects, that is actually where we have this problem. That's so obviously there's a disconnect somewhere between the people and the architects. Yes. And I believe that that's what the Nigerian Architects Forum is trying to bridge. So um, I should ask you, Stephanie, uh, tell us about what we should expect at the Architects Forum. So first of all, we will expect a range of, um, of very interesting guests, of lectures, but also there will be um, material, building materials presented. There will also be um, different companies presented. And I think it's a very good um, base to start learning about architecture and about a better building process. And, uh, yeah. Is it open to just architects or architects and non-architects as well? Open to everybody, right, Fitzgerald? Yes, it's open to everybody. It's going to be at a, um, a co-hotel. It starts from the 8th to the 11th. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The closing, uh, the opening ceremony is on the 8th. That's Wednesday at 10 a.m. at a cool hotel and suite. Um, that's convention center. Stephanie is actually going to be one of the speakers. I mean, you need to congratulations. <laughs> so you need to you need to come hear her speak. Talk about affordable housing. Talk about urban regeneration. Talk about I mean um, our environment, ecology. So. For us, it's to the general public. And we are making it free because we believe each time you make this thing, you, you put a fee to it, you're also, you're also taking away, not preventing those people we actually want to talk to from coming in. So all you need to do is just go online, register uh, for the program because you need access code to come in. So once you register, you have your tag, you come in. So it's open to the public, um, government, parastate house, ministries, because we want to interface with everybody. And we have speakers that will actually help us in terms of urban regeneration. Are and there competitions and money to be won? Because that's the one that interests me. Mm, <laughs> yes, there is. We, there's an affordable um, housing um, design competition. It's for young professionals and um, young professionals and students in the School of Architecture within the Lagos, uh, within Lagos State. And I mean, total of four million needs to be won. I mean, as of today, we have over 240 entries. I mean, hitting 300. In fact, the shortlisting starts tomorrow till the weekend. And we have our judges coming from um, Italy, US, the UK, Uganda, just to make sure that we, we, we have people that can actually help us to take this thing through. So from the 8th up until the 11th of May, we have our hands full with the architect, um, Nigerian Architects Forum happening at Eco Hotel Sweet. and Suite. And it's open to the general public. Everybody can be a part of it. How can people, you know, how can people get out more information? Is there a website or social media handle that they can yeah, follow? Yeah, um, we, we are on Instagram, we are on Facebook. Facebook just type Nigerian of Architects, Lagos State Chapter, it pops up. We go there, you have... The countdown there, you also, we're also on Instagram. Just go to NIA Lagos. That's our Instagram handle. Then we're also on, um, on Twitter. You can also follow me and follow NIA. How can you follow you personally? You can follow me. Just type in Fitzemeca and I pop up. Just follow me. You have all the stream. You have everything the way it is. And you have day-to-day -day update. Yes, we actually started yesterday with our awareness stroke health work where we um, worked from stadium 
to um, Jibo and turn back. So oh, I mean, brilliant. if you go to YouTube, go to Instagram, you actually see where we said every building must have an architect. Who is your architect? Because the time will come when you have to put the name of an architect on your building. That's actually where we're going to. Interesting. Thank you so much for that. How can they follow you as well on social media? Uh, they can follow my company uh, on Instagram, Studio Elementals, or me personally, Stephanie Teuretzbacher. Maybe the Studio Elementals one will be easier to find. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, you know, someone once said that God is in the details, and we know that that's what architects are about. So please make yourself available to attend the Nigerian Architect Forum happening from the 8th up until the 11th of May in Eco Hotel and Suites every day. And you know the handles to follow for more information. Today in history, the 2nd of May 1994, 1994, Nelson Mandela claimed victory after South Africa's first democratic elections. Nelson Mandela is a man whose name would forever be mentioned when the story of liberation in South Africa and even strength in Africa is told. He's a man who would forever be mentioned. That's all we have today on the show. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back again same time tomorrow. Remember to follow me at Olive Emody and collectively follow us at Wazobia Max. Have yourself a wonderful night. I know you are, you are trying to adjust back into work because you had holiday yesterday, but not to worry. Just one more day of work and officially the weekend will be upon us. Have a good night. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.